Hi guys, how are you guys doing today? My name is Yadi. Um, what I'll be doing today is I'll be doing a King Kylie era makeup look. Um, because I don't have the Kylie shadow palette, which is her first palette back in like 2016. I'll be doing a mix of the Jaclyn Hill and the uh, matte palette from Makeup by Mario. And yeah, I'll do my best to recreate it the best I can. But let's just have fun and let's get started. So the first thing I'll be doing is prepping my skin. Actually, I already have moisturizer on. And um, we'll get started with the eyes first, just so we can um, carve it out really nicely. I'll do the eyebrows and then we'll start the brows. For brows, it, they were mostly um, the fuller brows, not necessarily brow pomade. I think she used to use powder, um, but we're gonna do that. So for brows, I'll be using the Anastasia, like just a little brow um, palette and then um, just a brush. And I'll just be kind of not outlining necessarily, but kind of shading in what I have as brows. Just so they look fuller. I actually have to do my brows. They don't look the cutest, but whatever. She has like a high arch, but I just naturally don't have that. So I don't think it'll look the best, but I'm gonna go ahead and try. I really should have cleaned up my brows before, but I forgot. Okay, I think that should be enough for the brows. We don't want a carved out brow, like brow pomade days, even though they're during the same time. But hers were never really like super carved out and stuff like that. So you just kind of clean them up and that's kind of how she did her brows. I'm just going to use a, another uh, brow brush and I'm just going to clean them up a little bit. And then the same thing to the top, but mainly focusing on like the end on this part. Okay, so I kind of just shaded in the brows, cleaned them up just a tiny bit because her eyebrows were never very like carved out, like I said earlier. They were very like softly shaded in if that makes any sense and my eyebrows are very thick like hair my hair is some thick hair so it's just kind of difficult to achieve that soft brow look because i have just hairy brows um so next thing i'll be doing is concealing my eyelid just so i can prep it for the eyeshadow look um and i'm just going to be using custard by um nars and kind of just doing that and with my finger I'll just kind of blend it out, blend it so it looks nice and smooth. I just try to be careful not to get it on my lashes. And to set the eyes, the eyelid, I'm going to be using the matte one from the Mar Makeup by Mario uh, palette, just with the regular. And with a brush, I'll be setting down the eye, the um, concealer so the uh, eyeshadow can't get kind of tacky on there and look kind of weird so i'm gonna use i'm just gonna use a lightest shade in the palette which is matte one who cares if it looks white like that but mine's kind of mine does, look like that. Mine does not look good mm, that's weird okay well we'll try to work past that it's kind of rolling up a little bit i don't know why if it looks white it's okay we'll fix it but I just want to make sure that my eyes are not sticky. Oh, that probably looks really ugly. <laughs> but we're going to do that. And um, and next, I'm going to find a color. Uh, maybe I'll be highlighting the uh, bottom of my brow. The high point of my brow. Remember that was a thing. You used to highlight right there. So we're going to use um, the color from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'll be using... I don't know the colors beam maybe to do that okay. so i'll be using beam and i'm just gonna do it to just you know right under the brow right underneath that color i'm gonna use um in light because it's another shimmery color and place it right um on the brow bone same thing and maybe i'll do a little less and Kind of bring it down a little bit that one has more of a goldish um tone whereas beam i 
think that's what the other one's called, has more of a white tone. With the same color of and light, I'm gonna use that color in the inner corner of my eyelash, um, of my eyes. And I know it looks crazy, give me a second. Okay, makeup sometimes always looks crazy before it looks normal. Now we're gonna start with the actual shadowing of the eye. And I was watching a video of her doing um, her eye look just so I can get some kind of a closer look at her shadows. And I don't have um, a cooler brown that she uses in the inner on her crease. So I'm just going to make one similar tone. I'm going to use matte 2 and matte 4 from the Makeup Amaro palette. And I'm going to use that as a transition color in my crease. So just in here. My eyelids are actually really dry. Why is that? I don't have a lot of lid space, so I try to bring up, up the color higher up here just to make it seem like I do. And then I keep it here and kind of just blend up into that highlight. Okay, so the next color I'll be grabbing is from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Actually, no, I'll get the color um, Matte 8 from the Makeup by Mario palette. I was watching the makeup look that Arielle did on her when she was releasing the palette. So I'm trying to mimic that and he just blends in the color to the lash line, kind of the closest to. I need smaller brushes. They just blend this way and then they blend up to try to make it look synchronized and just put together, blended. I'm trying to keep it neutral, like soft, because that's what they did. Um, I'll do the same thing to the other side. The next color I'll be adding is matte um, 7 from the Makeup by Mario palette and I'll be adding it over that just to intensify the crease to make it look a little more uh, cut and like that here. Same, kind of just following on top of what I just did and then bring, bringing it up and in. Time went by so fast. You know, everybody says 2016 was the last good year <laughs> between before things went downhill. Honestly, I don't remember anything from 2016 or any year before 2020, unfortunately. And then 2020 is even more of a blur because, you know, it happened. The next color I'll be adding is the color Creamsicle from the um, Jaclyn Hill palette over my um, crease area so the colors can blend nicely. It's like an orangey color, but it shouldn't look very orangey on the eye. Just on top. Honestly, I don't know if this Jaclyn Hill palette's still good. I've had it for a very long time the next thing I'll be doing is aligning my eye with a color that's just like really dark brown in this palette it's matte 11 um, and just following really close to my lid to my eyelash uh, line kind of messily because then you're gonna blend it out There goes that brush. I'm just gonna use one of these and then just blend it out. I'm going to add the brown to the other side. I'm just gonna stay as close as I can to my lid. And to intensify that 
dark brown i'm gonna use black just to outline the actual lid and i'll be doing the same thing just blending it out into the brown For the next color, I'm going to use the color Queen and Honey. I know that they look very bright, but I'm going to try it. And I'm going to stab it and see it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And then just bring it here. Okay, and I'll do the same thing to the other side. I'm just gonna add the color Queen and Honey from the this palette just to make that gold color that she has in her inner corner. Like that. But this is just me trying to kind of follow what I think um, she was trying, like what she used to do. Um, I got inspiration from a video I watched and then also from pictures, um, the picture you'll see in the thumbnail. And um, obviously, this is me trying to make it. So it's not going to be perfect, but let's keep going. So next, I'm just going to do um, the same thing I did, the same colors I used for the crease. I'm going to use them. Um, actually, let me do my face first. So we're going to do face next. For my face, I'll be using um, the... Fenty Beauty um, skin tint. So I'm probably gonna go in with a full coverage foundation instead. Cause yeah, I have, that really didn't do a lot. I'll be using the Pat McGrath foundation. And then I'll be doing the same thing. Actually, I'll be using a brush. I finally was able to get my hands on a Love is a Foundation brush from um, Ulta. Every year I would see um, Kathleen Lights talk about it and I'm like, oh, I always want to get it. But they're only limited uh, edition, I think. And I would always see her videos and not get a chance to go or when I would go, they'd be sold out. And this year when I saw her talking about it, I knew I had to go get it. And I did and I finally got it. I hope to make a video soon of my favorites. I went shopping for some makeup products at Sephora as well. And I want to try them out. And then products I already use that I really enjoy using. I'm bringing those up as well. I think that's better. And then I'm going to do concealer next. I'll be using Custard from um, NARS. This is when we used to do the triangle thing. More product. And I'm going to use a beauty blender for this part. I hate when I see that one eye looks darker than the other ones or sharper. I see that her old pictures always had a very defined, soft but defined eyeshadow like V at the end. And then we're gonna do, um, I'll do a little bit more. I'll be using light 2.4 of the NARS just in the inner right here. I'll let that sit a second. And I'll do um, concealer next. I mean, sorry, not concealer. Um, contour. I'm trying to mimic the picture. And next we'll blend it out with a, let's do a brush. This 
This one, she used to do it straight into her cheekbones. We didn't do a lot of that like lifting that we do now where we add it very high up. So it's like right in here. And then bring it up and blend this in. It's kind of like really very um, bronzed in the sides as well. Okay, I, my camera keeps overheating, so I had to blend it out off camera while it cooled down. And then, um, so yeah, just bring it, I just brought it up here into my temples and up a little bit here and here. Um, and then now I'm gonna blend out the concealer I had sitting. For, for the nose, I'm just gonna use the same brush I used and just bring it down the sides. She used, she does, um, she used to contour it very softly. I think she still does. I don't like to because I don't know how, but I'm just gonna make it look smaller if I can. She has a small nose. Let's do that. And next, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna set it. I'll do a little tiny little dot of blush like that. Even though blush wasn't a big thing, it was kind of, she had it just here, right above of her um, contour bronzing area. And next, what I'm gonna do is set my under eye with some powder. Um, I'm gonna use a little poofy thingy, a puff or whatever you call it and set my under eyes remember when everybody was baking at one point she used to highlight just you know the center of her face so that's kind of what i'm trying to follow and then same thing on this side And do you know what she used to do, which was cut, I think she probably still does it, the, um, this, and kind of bring it up. Okay, so I just used the powder to set under here and kind of scoop it because it's kind of her picture it's very bright in this area down here and then it's just contoured and blushed so i'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and remember back then matte was it matte matte makeup so no shine on forehead or anything like that and now that I wait for that, I'm just gonna kind of blot over here so I can add a powder on top. Hopefully it won't mess up my makeup. And <clears throat> I'm gonna add a, a bronzer on top. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Private Island. Just a very small amount. And I'm gonna just add it directly on top of this. Same thing with the other one. I'm barely touching it. Kind of bring it up just so it looks nicely put together. And now, uh, with a just like clean brush, I'm gonna brush this out. blend it in a little bit and next I'm just gonna go over on top with the Dior blush which I know was her favorite for a while um, that's why it was sold out but the hive dot died down I really do like it I wear it um, since I bought it 
and I'm just gonna do the same thing and put it right on top of here. Same thing on this side. It's not even too much on her the apples of her cheek. She kind of just has it out here. And then um, I'm going to use one. I don't have any of her um, lip glosses and lipsticks um, anymore because I threw them away. They kind of got very old. So I was, why am I going to keep them around? So I threw them out, but we're going to use a nude from her sister's collection because I do have that. Oh, and let's not forget highlight, actually, before we do that. Highlight was everything. So we're going to do that. I don't have... I'm going to just use just this brush to highlight. And we're just going to highlight and the nose. She has like a little bit of highlight here. And then we're going to do the same thing. Kind of apples of cheeks and then up a little bit and then we're gonna do the bridge of the nose as that was a thing still um next i'm gonna do the bottom of the eye before i actually start with the lips before i forget so for that i'm gonna use the same colors i used for my crease of my eyes um it was yeah, I'm just gonna use the same things and kind of connect it to the eyeshadow. Bring it in. This thing wasn't even recording for like a minute. Um, I blend my eye and then at the edge I just add dark brown and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna use the colors I used earlier and then use the dark brown for the edge. Just like that, and then I'm gonna use, gosh, I'm gonna go in with the color that was like orangey from the uh, palette again, and I'm just gonna go over everything I just did right now to blend out. This one's a little patchy here, why? I am not in love with the way that my eyebrows look, just cause her eyebrows are really nice, but, it's okay. I'm gonna add brown into my bottom lid. I'm gonna do it on the other side, but I'm gonna just pull down my lid. Pulling down. And the next thing I'll do is my lips. So like I said, I'm gonna use the nude ones from her sister. Hopefully they're sharpened. Yes, they are. And Kind of over line. This is not the color she had. This is not right. Oh my god. What color is this? Nude 2. This is not the color she used, but I don't have anything close to that. It's like a pinky nude. Is this it? I have put on Nude 2, but that color is not the color that she's wearing in the picture i'm trying to follow um so i'm gonna try nude one from kkw i think this one's more like closer to the actual color that she's wearing i don't like this color on me I think that's gonna have to do. Okay, so I think that's it. And then we're gonna part it the other way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, that was my own interpretation of what her makeup used to look like. I also watched a video when aria was doing her eyeshadow just because i wanted to have like a better um it has been so long but i wanted to make sure that i got a good look at what she used to do 
um but yeah i hope you guys liked it i sure did um let me know if you guys have any questions or if you guys want to see anything different um from me as in makeup videos i'll be back uh twice a week i'm trying to get back on track um well get on track with posting saturdays and um mondays but i'll for sure try my best to get on that one day will be makeup and one day will be something um spooky uh i'm very excited for that and october coming up but um let me know if you guys want to see anything specific thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy it thank you